हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अधिश कुमार दुबे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम आवर न्यू क्लास दैट इज ऑन बैंक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड डेफिनेशन स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द बैंक बिकॉज बैंक इज अंस्टीट्यूशन इंगेज द पार्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ आवर डेली लाइफ नन ऑफ द पीपुल्स of today or we can say in our society are performing their their work or performing their needs without the help of the banks because while while purchasing any things while while uh, using the money or uh, any kind of the demand and the supply must be have to directly or indirectly supported by the banks if the banks are not be there our daily transactions will will uh, mm, mm, problematic i think the people will not to be able to fulfill it without the help of the bank so banks play an a significant role in our daily life so in the same manners we can say the banks are the part of our life this is not the the uh, mm, roles of the banks in current society or current situation but it is it is far important you are so important for from the beginning of the our socialized uh, socialism or we can say the development of the society during the 16 year uh, 16th century 17th century 18th century some of the version of the banks are also be the part of the uh, of the uh, of the life so the different scholar may define it as the roles of the bank on that period current times students banks banks have a uh, large institutions or we can say there have a various kinds of the banks in our society who are directly or indirectly or very different kind of the uh, support provided to the our daily life so in this lecture student basically we are studying about the that function of the banks and that that the uh, uh, types of the those banks which kinds of the bank facilities are be available which kind of the banks are be available in our society student so let's start this lecture which are uh, depending on the banks introductions and the definitions before we are defining or we are going to discuss about the definition of the bank we must we have some notes or we can say some introductions about the banks as you know that banks means are institutions which, which are deals with the with the money related activities or the institutions who engage in the transactions of the money same while students banks is a institutions which are the the uh, merchant of of money or money related activities so this is the introduction but what the what the banks uh, or from where the banks word is comes so and this is this is the the history of the bank so before going to uh, discuss the history of the banks we must we have to introduce the what the bank is performed the students bank is a such institutions keeping in mind the security of our loans or it is institutions who provides the loans for loans on demand to the customers or students it trains money to the persons uh, whose needs it and when people do not need the money they deposit their their money or we can say their, their savings into the banks if we deposit some money into the bank bank provide us the interest if we borrow the loans or we lend the money from the banks then they charge some uh, some interest so the institutions are taking the interest or charging or or providing the interest on the our deposits and charging the interest on our our loans is called the bank so earlier we have to say that the bank is a institutions who are who are the merchant of of money who are merchant of the loans so though here we say we here we see that the the institutions the bank is such kind of institutions which which have to perform the uh, function of depositing and providing the loans apart from providing money uh, students deposits and loans the bank also perform many other functions like payment of the checks or we can say the demand drive providing making the demand up on demand credit card services atm services 
buying and selling of the securities these are the these are the some another functions some additional function is provided by the is performed by the bank student in other word students we can say that bank are those financial institutions which accept the uh, deposits time and deposit uh, time to time and deposit uh, demand deposit of the peoples further it's provide the loans to the peoples on on the time or on the demand students students they are given license by the government to collect money by investing in securities because finance is a sensitive issue when the government not to be provide the license or government not to be uh, to provide the um, uh, permissions to the institutions we are not to be believe on that so here we can say the bank is a such kind of the institutions where the government have to authorize it for for doing for performing such kind of the services then we have to understand it then we have to to uh, believe on it and now it become now it will it will known as the banks if the institutions are not to be have a, a, a authenticate license uh, from the government side we must call it as a financial institution or financial agency but we will not to be called it as a banks so bank is a brand where the government have to make the the uh, permissions government have to provide the permissions for doing the transaction for doing the facilities for doing the uh, the trading of the money of uh, of credit student they typically earn, uh, earn uh, profits from the different between uh, difference between the interest rate charge and paid how how uh, what kind of the profit the banks uh, are earned students when we have to deposit some money into the banks the banks give a interest a rate of interest but in the same times if the peoples have to take the borrow take the loans from the banks then the bank charging charges some some interest the charging interest and the the paying interest are different bank charges more rate of interest than the rate of interest paid so the difference between these these uh, uh, rates are the profit or we can say the typical earn of the this kind of the institution or we can say these banks institution so here we can say we can see that bank is a institutions which are getting the trade which are doing the trades of the money and getting the profit by giving the by giving the loans and taking the deposits the difference between the uh, uh, providing loans and interest is the the basic basic uh, uh, income of of this kind of the banking institutions history now the students the history of the banks what are the history of the banks from where the bank word is is introduced from first time for first times and what are the history of this bank is now to be discussed on the our next uh, slide student now as you see the bank word is de uh, derived from the italian word banku sometimes uh, some scholar says bankers or banku v n q u e banku <laughs> students <clears throat> it is it is a general opinion that bank word is depicted from the bankers or banku and this word is for first time in uh, uh, used in in the it italy uh, italian word or we can say the italy italian language so this is this is uh, common belief that the bank word is is related from the it italian culture the means of the banco or bankers or banku is branch as a written proof that the money lender of the rooms uses to do their transactions sitting on the branch so from the the meaning of that branch the bank bench or banker or bankers word is depicted some uh, somewhere it will be explained that the money lenders whose business was closed was declared bankrupt and on that situation his branches are be broken it means bank rupt it when they are not to be able to operate this then then they are they are banking work are be are be broken so it is more easy to identify that 
the bank word is depicted from the Italy uh, literature or Italy word, or we can say the low Roman culture. But sometimes the German scholars have to say that the bank word is de depicted from the German language, which means the fund. Later on, this word becomes famous and more of the words being used the banku of Italian language. German scholar says the bank word, word is, is, or, is uh, originally uh, uh, affiliated or we can say the, the uh, related to the German language, which means the fund. Some other kind of the scholars uh, like belonging, uh, belonging to the French language or French methodology, they say that the banche of the French word is similar to the bank. They say the banche word is, is changed by the banks and British language are we used it as a bank word. Italian word banche, it, uh, Italian scholars, bankers word is, is uh, just uh, similar to the banke word, students. According to the another idea, the trading houses in Italy, which used to, the, uh, to do banking work, were called uh, branchi or varancheri. Branchi means the people who have to use the, who have to trade the money or money related activities. So the bank word is, is derived from that varanchi or the varancheri. Hence, the word bank is derived from the, the word bank, bankers, varanchi. This kind of the words are, this, these similar words are be the, the responsible for the word bank streams. Similarly, some scholars consider the word bank of the French language to be the source of the word bank. Some French scholars are we believe that the bank word is derived, uh, derived from or be the uh, originated from the uh, <coughs> French word that is the banche, V-N-K-E, banche. And then after the bank word is be originated or, or introduced in the in the uh, economic era or in, in the modern society. Some scholars say that the word bank is derived from the German word bank, which means combined corporal uh, 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 function students. Professor McLeod has uh, ref uh, refused this all consequences. According to Professor Malfold, <coughs> The uh, bank word is, is the origination of the modern thought where the means of capital bank or capital resource, the institutions are be trading, the capitals is called the bank. According to Professor McLeod, students, <coughs> Europe, uh, the culture of the modern banking systems are be originated with the European culture where they separate to other part of the world. Professor Crowther considered goldsmiths and uh, jewelers business for, uh, from the origination of the bank. According to Professor Crowther, the um, uh, goldsmiths or we can say the jewelers are be doing a trade from taking the money and providing, uh, providing some uh, credits to the uh, customers and the banking word is the banking function is being started from there. More or less the bank is the institutions who have to uh, responsible for valuable valuable uh, articles or the re responsible for trading the money is is the origination of the bank is, is the word of the banks so this is the history of the bank uh, what were we have to discuss now student the definition of the banks is provided by the different scholar students first definition of the banks is given by professor kinley According to Professor Kinley, the bank is a trader of loans of its own and that of the other. What the money, what the amount, what the capital, what the worth we have to deposit it into the banks and what the real capitals of that bank, bank is an institution or be trader or be doing the trades of that worth. So this is the, this is the definition of the banks by Professor now the another definition is given by the professor Crowther. According to Professor Crowther, bank is that person or institution which is always ready to take money 
in the form of the deposits and return it to the squares of the depositors or we can say the returns to the people with the uh, money and its interest so the institutions who, who are engaging to accept the deposit and providing the loans is the banks as per the definition of that for the opinion of the professor crowth students some other definition is given by the professor walter leaf according to professor walter leaf banking means the receipt of deposit from the public for uh, for the purpose of lending or appropriations or the related works student which are payable on the demands and the uh, uh, redembles of checks draft or other order other uh, demand order students so here the means of of uh, of uh, uh, banks by the professor uh, walter lee the institutions are be providing or be accepting the deposit from the customers and providing the loans to the their lender in in any form is is the uh, bank student now the definition of the professor kaint according to professor kaint bank is an organization whose principal operations are concerned with the accumulation of temporarily ideal funds of the general public from the purpose of uh, propagating other for expenditure if the peoples are be doing expenditure they are demanded some some money then the banks or institutions to provide the loans them temporarily and after after a period they must be returns they must be want to return back that money with the charge of of interest so the institutions are providing or engaging on this function this type of the function is the banks as per the as per the professor can distribute now the students uh, the definition of the banks given by professor said according to professor said simple banking business include exchange or of cash from bank deposits and bank deposits for cash etc if the people have to exchange their capitals their money with the banks the facilities provided by exchanging uh, provided to exchanging of, of uh, people's uh, cash deposits is is called the bank according to professor sir transfer of bank deposits from one person or the corporations to another bank deposit against will of exchange government bond secured or unsecured etc are be are be the function of the bank or such institutions who have to accept these all kind of the deposits and provided the loans as per the persons or the uh, or the institutions organizations are demanded it's called the uh, bank as per the definition of the professor said student now the another definition is given by the professor crowther according to professor crowther banks are a dealer to themselves and other if we have a money we have a savings and if we want to deposit or in our institution for safety purpose for earning purpose bank provided the facilities for this if we need some money bank or institutions who provide me who provide us a loan so such kind of the institution who, who which are be performing the facilities like this is called the banks as per the definition of the professor crowth students now the definition is given by the professor kaint professor kaint says bank are economic institutions whose main objective is to make profit through the exchange of money and credit instrument professor kaint says the bank is a economic institution whose main objective to get the profit how can by exchanging of the money and providing the credits instrument the institutions who are trading of exchange of money and credit uh, and instrument is called the bank as per the definition of the profession can distribute now the students some another definition is given by professor rp kent as per professor rp kent a bank is a institutions whose main function is to correct to collect money from the peoples without thinking and to lend to the other people it means it is the institutions which are normally have to perform the functions of accepting collecting the money from the peoples and providing the loans to the other peoples return back to the peoples on the on the uh, charge or by the charge of of interest this is the 
function of the bank. It is the definition of the professor R P Kanda student. Now the some another definition is given by the professor Rasir. Professor Rasir says banks are those institutions whose loans are generally accepted at the depo uh, deposit of of the other peoples. If the peoples wants to to lend, then bank to collect the deposit from a persons and provided the loan to another by by charging some interest. It is the function of the bank. It is the institutions who have to perform this kind of the function strain. At last, the definition is given by the professor K R Cross. According to Professor K R Cross, a bank is a financial intermediary in the form of loan and the credit dealers. If a people's demanded the loans and a people's have a credit, then the bank is the intermediator between these two institutions. is called the bank. So, more or less, student, this all definition is is be clear is clarifying. Bank is the kind of institutions which are providing the accepting the deposits and providing the loans. The trader of the loans is uh, performing by the institution is bank. So we can uh, define the bank's definition in our own word. That is, bank is an institution that deals with money transaction. The institutions which are performing the function of money exchange, money transaction, is called the bank. So this is the definition of the bank institution. now after the uh, after confirming the definition of the bank or we after knowing about the what the bank is we are going to discuss what the types of the bank because in our locality in our society in our modern life there are huge kind of the banking institutions are be there and is all banks are performing same kind of the task no my students there are Different kinds of the banks are there. Some banks provided some in a specific kind of the task. Some banks are being provided some other kind of the specific task. So here we are discussing about all kinds of the banks and what the primary function of these kinds of the banks are. So now see the tables where we are explaining the classifying the all different types of the bank instruments. See the first. bank the first type of the banks each students is the commercial banks most of the banks which are be known by the bank which are be performing our hypothetical task of the banks is called the commercial banks now on the uh, next slides we are discuss describing detail on the commercial banks and we make a lectures a specific lecture on only the commercial bank so later on discuss uh, on the detail of commercial bank so now till uh, we just know what the commercial bank the commercial bank is a institution which are provide, providing the uh, function of the trade uh, accepting the loans and and uh, accepting the accepting the deposits and providing the loans on the demands of the customers another student the cooperative banks cooperative bank means those banks which which are be made by some cooperation of the people and government have to judge it government have to make the policies and providing the license to provide the facilities of banking those institution those corporations those cooperative societies are be called the cooperative banks now the third is development bank the bank are only be target the development of the area development of the industries or the purpose of the development of the society these kind of the banks are be called as a development bank student now fourth one is the specified bank specified bank means specific purpose bank those banks are be made for doing the specific task such kind of the bank is specified bank or special purpose bank student next one is the central bank as all of we know central bank is the is the supreme banks for all those banks are be are be responsible for providing the monetary policies issuing the credit uh, control power these banks are these institutions are be known as a central bank what are the roles of these central bank and others 
are we discuss later on stream so now just speaking individual one by one and discuss what the classification says student first the commercial bank student commercial all of you familiar with the word commercial commercial means the trade or we can say the uh, occupation the banks or the commercial banks are those banking institutions that accept deposit from the journal public and give salt them loans to their customer students banking there are also different type of the commercial banks such as public sectors banks private sectors banks or foreign banks it means the public sector commercial bank it means the private sector commercial banks and the foreign commercial bank foreign sectors commercial bank some of the examples are be here student the public sector commercial banks means the government of india and the reserve bank of india has majority participations in public sector commercial banks indian bank bank of baroda syndicate bank dena bank punjab national bank state bank etc are the examples of this kind of the bank student next student is the private sector commercial banks student in private sector commercial banks most of the equity capital of the banks is in the private hands these banks are registered as public companies but providing the functions of the banks as per the license of the of the rbi or the central banks of the nation states example of such kind of the banks is or example of the banks in this category are Zambu and Kashmir Banks Limited, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Kotak Bank Limited, SDFC Banks, etc. These ICICI Share Bank. These all are the perfect example of the private sector commercial bank industry. Now the third one is the foreign banks or foreign uh, commercial banks, bank which have been established in uh, another country or we can say the foreign country. It means. Uh, amalgated abroad their branches are working in our country uh, banks in this category are hong kong bank shanghai bank corporation hsbc bank we can say american express bank or standard and charter banks abn Am amro bank these all some example of of uh, foreign commercial bank institutions now the second classification of the bank that is the cooperative bank students when a cooperative society does banking business it is called the cooperative bank cooperative banks generally gives loans at a low interest rate the controls in and inspections of these banks is also done by the rbi it means these cooperative societies are be under the control of the RBI, such kind of the bank is called as a cooperative bank. Students, these cooperative banks are be classified by three types. The first is the primary credit committee bank. Second, the central cooperative banks, and third is the state cooperative banks. So these are the three classification, three types of the cooperative bank students. Now, the students, another type of the bank is the development bank. Students, development banks were. set up as associated institutions of the reserve bank of india development banks are those financial institution that provides medium terms and the long terms loans to industries after independence there was a rapid development of the industries in india in which there was a demand for heavy financial investments and more promotion instruments as a result these institutions were established development banks helps in the promotions expansion and modernizations of the industries apart from providing medium terms and long terms finance these banks are invest capitals in industrial undertaking it also provide technical advices and assistance were required students there are examples of the development bank in india industrial finance corporation of the india or state finance corporation and industries development bank of india as sidvi we can say as the state finance corporation of the bank 
so these are the some examples of the of the development bank in india students now the fourth one is the special purpose bank or specified bank these are some such banks those who work in a particular activities of area hence they are called special purpose bank as import export bank of india small industries development bank in india should be agriculture and rural development bank nabard etc are the example of the banks in this category or we can say the specific purpose bank stream now the fifth one is central bank one of the supreme bank streams in each country a bank is entrusted with the responsibility of the uh, guiding and regulating the banking system it is called the central bank it is an apex bank and it enjoy the highest financial power of the nation the central bank authorities in india is the reserve bank of the india as we know that it does not deals directly with the public it is a banks of the bank it is it is just providing the loans or all those facilities which are the required for our customers like a customers to the banks or the government in con it, it contain deposit uh, account of all banks because it is the bankers of the bank it give advance to banks at the uh, as and when required it regulate the amount of the money and the credit and supervise all control of the currency transaction of all banks it is responsible for all ex all foreign trade and the the transaction on the behalf of the central and the state government so this these banks this bank is the central bank because it is the supreme bank of the nation so it is called the central bank or supreme bank of the nation in india this all these powers are be enjoyed by the rbi so rbi is the central bank of the india except america approx all nations have a, a, a central bank not more than a central bank student now the reserve bank also plays and the roles of the bankers to the government and maintain the detail of the government received payment and the loans taken from the various sources it is also advises the government to monetary and credit policy and determine the rate of the interest of deposits and the loans given to the banks or given by the bank this uh, country also perform the function of keeper of currencies for exchange reserves gold and other securities of the nations student the reserve bank also perform the function of the issuing currencies uh notes and the regulating the monetary supply in the nation so here we can say the rbi have the supreme power of the banking functions in india so rbi is the supreme bank or we can say the the central bank of the of the india so in this lecture students basically we are we are studying we are basically uh, concerned the uh, banks and the its its type individually the types of the banks we are not to be discussing here in next lecture we are describing the uh, individual type of the bank and and their functions especially the commercial banks and the and the uh, central banks because these two are the different kind of the banks and which are be playing and most important significant role on the on the our modern uh, economic trade modern economic society so uh i think the introduction part of the banks what is the bank and what the function is performed by the bank is be is be completed in this lecture i think you are enjoying the it and uh, if if you have any questions if you have any queries about the the banks or uh, bank related uh, issues student you must be have to comment on our channels i will try to to uh, answer you and resolve your all queries Thanks for this lecture, students. Thank you.